Simple way to get coaching clients. You become a coach and you just want to help people. All this stuff about how to get clients is just too much. Finding a niche, attracting an avatar, content strategy, lead generation, converting to clients, just too much. All of it sounds all great, but what the heck do they mean anyway? Because it all sounds the same to you. So today, I'm going to clarify what these mean. Are you asking yourself if you need all of these things? Keep on watching this video. If we haven't met yet, I'm Karma Hunter. I'm a brand mentor and a conversion strategist. I help online coaches and entrepreneurs create their flagship offer and plan their launches with evergreen systems and strategies so that they can scale to 10K months without social media burnout. When my clients come to me, they're always overwhelmed with all the information they've been hearing, all this terminology and different ways and strategies of trying to get clients. And they're like, I just want to get clients and help people. That's all I want to do. And which one of these do I do? That's why I'm going to explain to you a simple way of getting clients today. So let's talk about these things. Finding a niche. Narrowing down your target audience, attracting your ideal client, content strategy, lead generation, uh, conversion. All of these things may mean just like getting clients to you. But all of these are actually explaining to you the journey of your client from the time that they have no idea about you or what you have to do or what you have to offer to the time that they become clients. When I'm on clarity calls, I ask my clients, how are they generating leads? And oftentimes this is like, what do you mean? Like I have a website, I'm on social media posting stuff. That's not necessarily a lead generation strategy. That's basically you expecting people to come and work with you. And how is that gonna happen? So let's look at a very, Simple example from my day-to-day -day life, a restaurant. Now you're gonna say, Karma, what does that have to do with coaching? Here's what I mean. Forget about coaching, forget about the industry, just think of it from the evergreen marketing uh, perspective. If you have a restaurant in a small street in the back somewhere where there's not much foot traffic, the only people that are gonna know you are the families that live around there or people that work around there and let's say it's like we said it's a small street 10 20 families that live there now you having a website or having a social media account is like you just putting up a sign at the door and saying hey this is karma's restaurant that's not necessarily generating any leads to you. That's only telling those 10, 20 people who live there that, hey, there's a restaurant here now. Okay, online, you're gonna say you don't have a brick and mortar, no, but your website and your social media accounts are where they are. How are they people coming to find you? How are they getting on your street to even see your sign, to even see your website, to see your social media profile? putting up your menu in different places around town, right? What's a menu gonna do? It may attract some leads to your restaurant with the pictures and saying, oh, it looks good and I should try this. But this is still when you're in the finding stage of in, in between finding and attracting your client stage, meaning you're still trying to reach them first. So you trying to reach your ideal client by putting up a sign or by um, putting out menus around, flyers around, is almost compared to the same thing as you just randomly posting content, right? Some people see it, some people don't. Hence your reach, your impressions and your reach. That's why it's called the reach, right? So first, you're trying to reach people with your content, just like the menu. But that menu is not necessarily going to attract the leads, you know, if they're not around where you're at, if they're not close enough, or if 
if it's not like anything so much different than something you can find around, right? So you got to find ways of making that appealing to them. That's where attracting your ideal client comes from. So how can you attract the leads? First, you got to go find them and attract them. Putting up coupons in different places. Now, this is going to give them an incentive. Oh, here's a coupon. I can get a discount, right? That's that's the reason why you gave them. Now, this can attract more leads to your restaurant. Um, it could be that um, special discounts to special di businesses. Let's say there are different work plazas around where you are or close to it, let's say. And you know, lunch hour gets really hectic around that area. So you're, you know, right over in the back street somewhere and you can offer discounts to the employees of these um, places that, you know, employees that work at these places in the plaza. Um, like this is something very common in Atlanta. That's what I just thought of. Anyway, um, then it could be taste testing, right? You can make people taste test somehow. Uh, with an event or something. These are attracting clients to you. The, these are, I mean, attracting leads to you. So that's the phase where we said we found our niche, found our target audience. Now we're attracting our ideal client. So now we can start generating leads because we're still trying to attract them, right, with these. How do you generate leads to a restaurant? Well, we would maybe do frequent flyer program, like, you know, the VIP point. The more you come, I don't know, 10 times you have lunch here, um, you'll get one free. Or some referral incentives, hence affiliate programs. Or um, VIP offers, some special discounts for those who are VIP or special... Um, special bonuses for those who are VIP. So now you're generating leads because first you found where they were and then you attracted them to your business. Now that you attracted them to your business, you're nurturing them and creating more desire and demand by offering new things that are uh, for them, specifically for those people, right? So now they keep coming back to your restaurant and that's your lead generation system. And that's how you are actually converting them, meaning they're now coming back and spending their money with, with you. So that's the process. And if you look at your business, right, that's why you need to first go find where your ideal client is. And then you attract them by uh, your content, the, the, what, what you say, what you do. And once you attract them, you got to create a desire, which is that lead generation, right? And on a side note, a lead generation system does not necessarily mean a lead generation platform. It doesn't necessarily mean a, um, you know, landing page software or email software or these uh, funnels and such. A lead generation system can also mean multiple strategies that go into creating a system for you to generate leads and that's something that that i do in my program with my clients we create this system the strategies of system of generating leads and of course we automate those which is the lead generation system as in the platform and the funnels part of it of course as well but it has two sides to it so when we're speaking about you generating leads, we're talking about all these different strategies for you to find and attract and create desire um, for your audience so that you are turning them into leads, so that they are becoming warm leads, warm prospects for your business, and that's how you actually convert them. I gave you a simple example from the restaurant. But it's really, this is really evergreen when it comes to platforms or, or when it comes to online or offline or organic or paid. When it comes to a simple way of getting clients is literally just that. It's literally going finding where they are, attracting them, and create a desire for them so that they demand and convert, right? If you want to know about my framework of find, attract, desire, and demand, 
let me know in the comments below and I will make another video for you to see exactly how I do this with my uh, fad framework. And I'll see you in the next video.